When you look at the people in the hospital who are there by themselves, who are looking lonely, who don't have any hope, community becomes so important for people to have hope of moving forward. There are people out there who could benefit from the knowledge of these things. When they first told me about it, I didn't have a clue about VADS. But then there's the idea of giving back. I was into the clinic and they asked me if I'd go up and talk to this person who was about to get a VAD. Yeah. Well, it was a good thing for me because I was absolutely terrified. And you took me from terrified to just being scared because I was going to have major <laughs> surgery. <laughs> People see going to the hospital or installing something in your body as something that will shut you down to, to the world or to adventure or to experiences, but it's just open doors. It seems that people that I talk to have a, a new openness to tell me their stories. And uh, so he was, we walked together through this. You know, people are in critical condition in the heart unit, and even during recovery, there's, it's critical to know that people are caring and coming to visit I think it makes a huge difference in terms of the recovery. They invited us over to their home for dinner one night. Don, I said, we would love to come, but I said, I've, I've put on so many pounds due to fluid, my jeans won't fit. The next day he passed by the door and he had five different pairs of pants that he went and bought to see if they would fit. So, yeah, that was amazing. Yeah.